coming down 2-0. Um, not to say that we knew this was going to be an easy game. That's definitely not what we were thinking. But we knew this is a game that we should win this season. So I think it was more like we were upset with ourselves, like not about the game or about the result that was happening, but like we know we can play better. Than that. So I think every time we came in in a huddle after each goal, it's kind of like let's go, let's look at ourselves and see what we can fix and let's make a difference moving forward. Uh, I told Carrie, I was like, I've never been in a set piece where I was like, I know this ball is coming to me, except for that set piece. And she told me that she hit that ball and she was like, if someone doesn't get on this, I'm going to be so mad. She's like, that was the best free kick I've ever taken. So I was glad I could finish it for her. Yeah, um, I think moving forward, I just needed one uh, to in the back of the net. Uh, I think I was feeling a little rusty. I don't know what's going on, but. I was working hard and I was trying not to get frustrated, so I knew it would come eventually. Um, I'm glad it could come on a night like this at home, last home game of non-conference, so um, it can be more perfect timing. Um, I think this game, maybe we just, you know, forget about it. I think it's, you know, Coach said it's one of the first games we've won where we didn't play well. Um, I don't think technically we were really there today. I think there was a lot of divine intervention going on, and, you know, with two own goals, um, that's going to happen. And, I think the harder you work, you know, the luckier you get on some levels. So um, maybe just forget about this game, move forward, learn from it, and uh, go on a Sunday with confidence. Because I think last year we went in AM and we weren't too confident on the pitch. So this game we should have confidence considering the team we've got, you know, the team members, and how well we've done this season. I think on the first one, uh, I thought it was going to go in far post, and then the girl got a touch on it. You know, maybe if it would have gone far post, the goalie would have saved it, but the girl getting a touch on it. Um, kind of through the keeper off. So again, divine intervention, I have no doubt, because that was one of the luckiest goals, and especially the third one. Um, I'll be the first one to admit that that was so lucky. So I even turned around, and I was like, I should have gone far post, and Miriam's like, Chris, I went in. I was like, what? I had no idea. So I think, you know, you just get a little lucky here and there. It's good for it to come on this night. And moving forward, hopefully we don't maybe use any more luck. We'll just play the best for I, I didn't know that. Brad told me that after the game. I think, um, Coming in senior year and, and you know not getting the goals that I had wanted to um, just gives me a lot of confidence moving forward that I needed. Uh, the teams have been encouraging me, coach has been encouraging me, but I think I kind of need to prove it to myself before we went into conference. Well, we haven't been in that situation. I think we were down one game this year. We were down a couple of games. We lost Butler, maybe. Yeah, Butler. I think. But we haven't been down by two. Uh, and I think both the goals, the kids, both the goals they scored, the, the player that scored it, the players that scored it, took them really well. But you know, it was a massive defensive breakdown by us, which you know, we've been hard to score on in the wrong place. So that was, that was cool. I have to look at the video tomorrow. But, yeah, we just we started out the first 20, 25 minutes. We were really flat. You know, and you got to give St. Louis credit. Their game plan was really good. They were very organized. They were very compact behind the ball. And we just didn't do a good job of figuring out how to break it down in the first half. Um, so credit to them. And the second half, same thing. Well, I think the second half, we made it. We talked about a few things at halftime that I think helped us create more chances um, and create more rhythm coming forward out of the bat. Um, so that was good. Um, but I thought just it was a lot of fight today, you know, to come back so quickly after being down 2-0. And then I think in the second half, the kids were a lot better and just a lot of fight today. But, you know, if you don't play well, I said to the girls, you still found a way to win the game. And St. Louis is a very good team. So uh, they're going to win a lot of games this year. So, you know, I think a lot of credit to the girls for the character they showed today. The first one, Kerry plays in an unbelievable ball, driven, which is really hard to defend. And then Grace just did a great job getting to it. Our runs in, that, in the box on that set piece were really, really good. Um, and uh, yeah, so that was nice. It's something obviously you work on in training and you talk about a lot. But uh, that was the execution of that was really good. For, as a goal scorer, as a forward, that's awesome. You know, just from a confidence standpoint. But Grace has been playing unbelievable. You know, she's been doing everything else but score. Uh, and it was just kind of a gradual process. I mean, the last game. She led the team, I think, with eight shots against Cincinnati, which was the most she's had in her career. So she's, because we talked to her about getting herself in more dangerous situations, and she started to do that. And against Cincinnati, she was unlucky. She hit the crossbar twice. Um, so it was really a matter of time. So I think today it was just kind of the next step from last Thursday for her. I've actually seen the ball go in the net. So massive confidence boost for her. She'll, she'll score more goals for us this year, for sure. Oh, absolutely. You know, and Grace is a kid, you're never going to have a player work harder than she does. You know, every day in training, in the games, whether we have the ball or we're defending, like, she's always lights up in terms of her energy and her effort. Um, so when you have a kid like that and then you see him have success, it's, you know, it's, it's gratifying because you know the work's paying off. Because it doesn't always, but in Grace's case, obviously it's paying off. And it really was just a matter.
Yeah, no, awesome. This group, I think, has done a brilliant job of that. You know, the adjustments that they make when we talk to them about stuff at halftime or in training, they try to put that into the game. And I think one reason why, you know, in the second half, especially a lot of games, we've done better because they've done the things we've asked them to do. So they're a very coachable group. Um, and I think we're not sitting where we're sitting right now.